Welcome to Monday Motivation. I'm Tom Connolly, your local leadership coach. Okay, now you have a rough draft of your values, vision, mission, and purpose. And I say draft because this process is going to take time to refine and dial in. Your brain is just now be becoming aware of these concepts and ideas and recognizing the possibilities in the world around you and working on these things subconsciously. Your vision and values, your unifying principles, are your end state, the destination and who you are. The mission and purpose give you the engine of the what and the why. And now we will talk about the goals, about goals, as the roadmap or plan and some tools for writing and managing those goals. All right? So you've heard me say it before if you've listened for a while. There are seven bins or baskets or areas in almost everyone's life and work. And uh, someday I will, I'll tell you all the, the story of how I got to that conclusion. But I'm, pretty, I'm in pretty good company with some pretty famous authors who say the same. Um, I've spoken of those bins, bins before, and, uh, and they are spiritual, physical and health, family and relationships, work and business, money and investment, growth, and social and community. Now, we should all have goals in each of these bins. They need to be consistent with your values and may directly evolve, grow out of your values or your vision. So what we need to do is get a clear picture in our heads of the destination. Close your eyes and see it. And then ask the question, what do I need to do to get there? And then keep asking, what do I need to know? What do I need to do? How do I need to do that? And whom do I know that can help me? Write down your answers. Yes, write them down. You need to write them down. I say this every time. You need to write them down. And specifically, write down the first action that you need to take on each of these goals. Move through all of the bins this way. Look for answers around you. Find books that help you. Talk to friends and mentors. Hire a coach. But do it. Now that, and once you have those goals in each of these bins, prioritize them against each other. Not inside the bins, but across the whole list. When I do this, I use the ABCDE method. Okay, and we're going to talk about that just for a second. So stay, tune in closely because it's not that hard. We're going to separate the value or importance from the urgency. Okay, and we're going to first decide what are those goals that are vital to our vision, mission, and purpose. Which ones are those? And we're going to label those with a capital A. And then we're going to find out and look at what ones are important. Not quite vital, but they're important. And we're going to label those with a capital B. And then we're going to look at those that are nice to have, like pitching for the Rangers. And we're going to say, that's a C. Okay? And then anything you can delegate is a capital D. And anything you can eliminate is a capital E. Now, you're not going to have Ds and Es when you're looking at your most significant goals. But those letters become important when you get to integrating your day in your prioritized action list, which is something we will talk about later. So now that you've got the values, then you're going to add urgency back onto those by discovering or looking at and say, what is my most important A? And you're going to make that A1. And your second most important A is going to be your A2. And you're going to do likewise with the B's and the C's so that your most 
your highest valued goal will be your A1, and your least valued goal would be E99, okay? So once you've got that done, it's prioritized and it's ranked, then you're going to look at, does this describe what you're, where you're trying to go? And you're going to keep tweaking this for a while. Developing your goals will take time. So commit to working on them daily for 15 minutes until you've got them done. And then start revising them. Where and when you don't get interrupted is the place and time to work on these. I do mine in the morning. Don't get frustrated with this. This is the strategic plan for your life. It takes a little time and it takes a lot of focus. Now, my challenge to you is to start today. Just start. You eat the elephant one bite at a time. Start. You can do this because all things are possible through prayer and heavy deadlifts.